Hey everybody, welcome back. All right. We're at 907. We're playing yet another game to not get into the 800s. Let's see how we do. How did I get to 907? I thought the last game that I played I was at 915 and it was a tie. I don't think I played a rap game. Uh Wait. Oh. I guess I, I was at 90. Oh no, no, no. I was at 907. Forget everything I just said. I forget I forgot that I played two games against uh Marcin from Poland and he beat me in the first one. Never mind. Whoops. I thought about that game for the rest of the day afterwards. And it hurt my head. <laughs> that was a brain cell crushing game. Playing Sabocos from Italy. Yeah. I have a uh, fancy new layout today. Hope you guys like it. I think it's pretty cool. Goes D4. I always go back and forth about uh, knight f6 here, but then there's this really simple pawn e5 and then you have to waste another knight move. Kind of tempted to play uh, bishop d7. Yeah, just to get it onto a a better square, defend the king, or protect the king from check, and then maybe try to eventually go c6 and get it on this sort of central diagonal. I don't want to play e6, because that just blocks the bishop in. But then again, I guess if I go d7... And try to get the bishop over here, then it doesn't really matter if I go e6, I suppose. I kind of want to just. Mm, I do want to take the pawn, but I don't. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I'm thinking so hard about this move, but. I don't know. I'm going to play knight f6. It's not the move I wanted to play. I need to figure... Oh, right. I think the move is actually uh, to take the pawn, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. The move is take the pawn and then go uh, bishop f5. I forgot. I forgot that that was the book move. Uh, brain's a little slow this morning. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It was take the pawn. I forgot. Whenever there's a e5 d, excuse me, e4 d4 c3 situation, the move is just to take on e4 with the pawn. I always forget that. I haven't played that in a while. Oh well. Yeah. So that was kind of expected. I guess we could go for the knight trade here. It's kind of lame. Could attack the queen. Also kind of lame. It just gets blocked in, and I lose a knight. Yeah, I feel like I've screwed this game up. I should have taken this pawn.
think going for the trade here is like much worse, right? I don't know. Yeah, I kind of screwed up. I'm going to remember that going forward. All about learning from the mistakes around here. Suppose we could take the knight or bring the bishop up, but I think taking the knight is just kind of an obvious move. I'm probably going to play Bishop f5, no matter what he plays here, I think. I mean, I guess this pawn is not bad. It prevents his knight from getting out. Not the worst thing in the world. Bishop f5, just so I can play e6 and get the bishop on this diagonal. Maybe the pawn on e4 is not the worst thing. It uh, prevents, his, prevents his bishop from getting out to d3. You guys can't hear it because of the uh, noise suppression filter that I have, but... Uh, there's two children getting yelled at in the background by their mother. Yeah, that sounds really bad. <laughs> Glad you guys can't hear that. You want to go for the traitor, traitor Ruskies? Here we go with the Queen G5 business. Well, queen g4 business, rather. Maybe I let him take here for once. Prevents the queen from getting out here. Which is kind of funny. Stacks the f pawns, which is weird. What if I protect that with this pawn and then put the bishop on g7? That's kind of funny. I just don't want his queen to get out here because then my uh, dark square bishop is stuck protecting g7. I guess I could fall back, huh? Falling back is just strange, though. Maybe falling back, honestly, to g6 is like the best idea here. I'm actually just going to try that. Then it blocks, or, yeah, blocks g7 from getting harassed this way. Like, let's say if the queen lands on g4 or something. I actually don't mind this move. Hopefully Sockfish will agree with me. Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. Just 
Bring a knight out. The open h file ID is kind of interesting here. Mm, and then castle and queen side, maybe? I don't know. Could bring my queen out to g5 if he takes on g6. I can just move the queen down and then get out of harm's way from the bishop. And that's also going to uh, protect this square. I feel like it's <clears throat> a really risky move, but it's an interesting move. Then his bishop's always going to be defended here. I guess I could push up. Hmm. Let the knight take or trade off here. I'm really tempted to trade on f5 here and recapture with the pawn. And then this pawn will just, I don't know, have a defender. But I don't really want the open h-file because I think castling queenside is not as good here. But maybe I'm wrong. Um, mm. I don't know. I'm just going to try it and try castling queenside. And hope for the best, I guess. Just have really funny pawns on the king's side, I guess. But I'm kind of committing to this at this point, so. Yeah, what can you do? Yeah. Kind of have a hanger over here. I'm actually really surprised he went kingside considering I have the uh, rook on the h file like that. But um, Probably castle queen side <clears throat> and then push c5. Try to line these two up maybe. Ideally, I'd like to get my bishop right here. Just going to go for the castle and play it safe here. I always run into this problem with the Karo Khan, whether it be kingside or queenside castling, where I just delay castling forever, and then I always regret it. This pawn's getting attacked here. Um, the pawn is probably just a goner at this point. I don't believe I can defend that. I can't push up f5 because I get lucrosanted. I guess I could, and maybe I can hope that he won't notice it. Maybe it's not the end of the world, because even if he takes, I can jump my knight and then protect the pawn. Well, pawn f5. Hope he doesn't notice le croissant. And then recapture with the knight, or just fix this pawn. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Seems like a risk, but... Place bets on if the opponent will notice en passant. I feel like I've gotten a lot better about noticing when I'm 
I'm going to get unpassanted. Um, but in this scenario, I'm sort of uh, allowing that to happen. Only because I can recapture with a knight and then protect this pawn at the same time. Uh, uh, but then I'm going to be losing this pawn here. I guess I should have thought about that. And then I'm getting checked. I guess I can just come back with the knight, huh? No, but if I come back with the knight, I'm still losing the pawn. I guess I kind of, um, I kind of misplayed this. I didn't keep this into account. Whoops. It's a very wacky game. I think trading the light square bishop off for the knight and then doing this was kind of a mistake. If I don't take, I'm getting forked. There's going to be two attackers on this pawn after he recaptures with the queen. Yeah, this is a really bad game so far. Hmm. I don't know. I've kind of, yeah, I saw that coming. I, I was thinking he would take with the queen there first. But I guess not. So this is pinned and this knight has uh, only one defender. I kind of want to just go unpin this knight. And uh, so I'm going to be down two pawns, which is a little rough. Honestly, if I can get my queen over here, I just have mate. I'm going to just go make it look like I'm protecting this knight. Let's see if he falls for this trap. I have the rook and the queen lined up here. So, I do have mate. Maybe he'll fall for this uh, pawn trap here. I don't think he'll fall for it. He seems like he's playing pretty carefully. So. Even if he takes the knight with check, I can just uh, take with the rook. And try to get the check. There we go, mate. That's all there is to it. <laughs> all right. Check out the numbers. All right, 77 to 81. Yeah, he had the really big advantage there. Um, I think if he would have just pushed his pawn up or protected with something. Yeah, he had to push his pawn up. No, what could he really do? He'd have to push a g3, I think, in order to defend that. Yeah. Interesting set of moves, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, really all it takes is um, one blunder. Anyways, thanks guys for watching, and see you in the next one.